Hello YouTube, this video is for Nebris or anyone else on the Minecraft or people who also do Let's Plays. Uh, you've probably noticed on Nebris' video that his Skype audio for everyone else is really quiet. And I know it was pre-recorded, so I'm guessing if he used Fraps, it is hard-coded in and he can't do anything unless he wants to turn up his game volume as well. Well, I know of a way to fix that. It's called Virtual Audio Cable. Like, here's the control panel for the program. You can get it from, you know, just Googling Virtual Audio Cable. You know, here's the uh, website and stuff. You can get downloaded and stuff. There's like a free trial or a paid version and stuff. But mostly what you can do is set up, like I have mine set up to have three cables. So when I check my computer's uh, playback devices, you can see here, I have you know my speakers, my virtual line one, virtual line two, and virtual line three. So what I have it set is, set my default audio to line one so when you're playing your game like minecraft or whatever all the minecraft audio will be outputted to virtual line one then inside of skype for example you would set it to output its audio from the speakers to virtual line two so then inside of and then, <clears throat> then what you have to do so you can hear this audio is you'll need to open up the audio repeater that comes with it and open it twice have one where you take all the audio from line one and have it output to your speakers so you can hear it and do the same thing with line two have it output to your speakers make sure you set the buffer to like 50 milliseconds or something so you don't have a really long millisecond delay because <clears throat> with the setup I do have a 50 millisecond delay from where the game produces its audio and I actually hear it but when you record it it will not have that delay so inside of DxTory, you would set up three recording streams. You'd have one where you're recording line one. You'd have another one where you record your microphone. And then you'd have another one to record line two. So that when you open it in your audio editing program. Here, let me go ahead and open up Minecraft and just do a little test recording to show you guys this. Yeah, I'm going to be on this main screen here. Let's go into a single player. Let's go into the creative world. And I'm going to go ahead and hit record. I know right now because I'm actually string capturing and doing this recording. It's a little laggy, but here, see there's game sounds, which you might not hear right now because I instantly had my... There, there's the game audio. You can hear it kind of loud. Sorry. Turn that way down. Okay, and then let me just go ahead and open up uh, TeamSpeak or whatever so you'll hear the uh, connect it there and I'm going to move around just so. Okay, now let me go ahead and actually stop that recording and close it. So, now actually if I go into where that video was captured. Oops, wrong drive. That drive, DxTory. Uh, Minecraft and then extract those audio streams you'll see there is oh crap I forgot I had Minecraft set to only capture uh, two audio streams but normally when you did that yeah you'd have three you know, you'd have three audio files that you could you know import into your editor or whatever so you could have you know your game audio here and then you could have you know your voice audio here and then you could have another one where it would be like your TeamSpeak audio or your Skype audio. And then you could say, okay, this audio needs to be a little quieter. This audio needs to be a little quieter. This audio needs to be a little bit louder. You know, you can do all that jazz and mix it together and tweak it later. 
I know, usually what I do when I mix my audio, sorry for blocking the screen out there, I instantly hit the wrong button on my keyboard. But you could, what I usually what I do actually is using Adobe Audition. Like I would usually set up like our audio to be limited to uh, point, uh, negative point one decibels for both the audio, for both people talking. And then I set up the gameplay to hard limit to negative 12 decibels so when you play it you would see you know your voice audio would go all the way up to here if you can you can't see my mouse but it would go all the way over here to the right of this bottom bar here and then you could probably see where negative 12 would be so there'd be that much more audio increase hopefully that wasn't too confusing you know technical the technological people should be able to understand what i was talking about and actually, I do. Now, the reason I have a third cable is for when I'm live streaming, because then I can duplicate another two instances and set up to say, take my microphone and repeat it to line three, and take like Skype and repeat it to line three, so that then I can set up in, you know, uh, OBS or whatever. You could set it, you know, your audio. So like your default capture so it would only be the gameplay and then you can set up your microphone to be like line three so if you wanted to stream a game or whatever you could just you know mute the microphone and only have just gameplay audio even though you're still talking to people on skype or TeamSpeak or whatever and or you can also you know increase or decrease your volume and so so that's kind of cool for that so hopefully you guys found this uh video informative uh, if you're wondering why you only don't, you don't see all of my screen, it's because I have a 21 by 9 monitor. So this is actually what my monitor's aspect ratio is: 2560 by 1080. If you would like to see, I guess, any videos at this resolution, make sure you check out my channel. I'll be recording some gameplay at this wide cinematic resolution shortly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name is Troy. Uh, I will I guess see you guys next time. Bye.